Hey guys, it's Jeff Rizka with Dan and Dalton, and today I'm going to be switching things up a bit. I'm going to be bringing you the money making guide. So this method is going to be bringing in around 1 mil per hour. So yeah, let's get started. Now, the bare minimum for this quest, or for this uh, method is you need to do Songs of the Depth quest. It's a novice quest, it's easy, and you need to do it. Now, uh, so we're going to be killing grot worms, which I probably should have mentioned first. Sorry about that. So, we're killing grot worms. They are weak to bolts. Um, you can do that. However, with my method, I like using a polypore staff. Now, although the polypore staff says you need 75 magic to wield it, you actually really need 80 magic to use the spell. So, that makes the magic requirement for this method 80 magic. Okay, and then uh, now to the inventory setup. You're going to use. You're going to need a Fire, uh, staff that gives infinite fire runes, so like, uh, staff of fire, the, um, uh, fire staff from the, um, new wizard tower quest, a mine spike, stuff like that. Uh, you're gonna need a bone crusher, and I will explain why later. And I just like to keep the, these charms at the bottom of my inventory just for the hell of it, and some nature runes, because you're gonna be alking the drops. Now, with your, um, uh, equipment setup. So I'm going to be ha having a changing image like right around here. So with the first method, which is a method I like to do, is uh, I wear Void Mage and I have a Vampirism Aura. Um, you can either use Vampirism Aura or you can use Soul Split. I don't have Soul Split yet, so I'm going to be using Vampirism Aura. Now, uh, if you notice, I'm wearing a Split Dragon, dragon Tooth Necklace. And with that and the Bone Crusher, you will... Every time you kill it, you're going to gain 200 prayer points. So if you're using Soul Split, you're going to have infinite Soul Split, meaning infinite HP, and you can stay for however long you want, or until your Polycore runs out, in this case. So, uh, since you don't have Soul Split, you use Vampir's Aura, which does the same thing, but uh, pr but then you're using Prayer to use Augury or these Leech spells. Now, with the other setup, which is the setup I'm wearing right now, is you're going to be wearing the best dehyde you can because they do hit you with magic and they hit you pretty hard if you're not prepared. Now, you don't need food because they drop a lot of sharks and you're going to be using and you're going to be using regenerate. In fact, let's go into the action bar. So this is the action bar I have. I have rack, sorry, uh it's lagging. I have rack impact combust sonic wave regenerate dragon breath wild magic Asphyxiate, Omni Power, Quick Prayers, Alchemy, and Gunthic's Blessing if you have done the World Awakes quest. If you don't, it's fine. Just get a shield, and they drop shields. Just get a shield and put in Rejuvenate if you have 52 defense. Now, uh, all of these do have, a, do have a magic requirement, so I'm not going to go over that because that's going to go that's going to make it longer, and I'm already taking three minutes just to give you the setup for this. So I am sorry. For all the information, but it's necessary. And, uh, yeah. And now let's go into how to actually get there. So, first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do a lodestone teleport to Port Serum. Now, um, yeah, I will see you guys when I get to Port Serum. Okay, we are here at Port Serum. So now, uh, let me show you where you're going to need to go. Okay, so I'm going to need to move my map, aren't I? Yeah, okay. So, decide it load. Uh, I'm sorry, this is taking a while. Uh, okay, so you are here at Port Serum. You're going to want to go right here to the White Knight camp, and you're going to want to go inside this dungeon. And from here, well, that was weird. From here, uh, if you have 50 agility, go right here. Just go right here, right click it, and then click um, fudge, what does it say? Uh, slide down. And you're going to go right here, and you're going to be want to be killing the grout worms either here. Or, or here. If you don't have 50 agility, one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Two, uh, you're gonna take this really long run and just go all the way around, ultimately getting to here or here. So now that you know how to get there, um, you're gonna you're gonna want to actually get there and find an open world. So I will see you guys when I have an open world. Okay, now that you found your open world, uh, you're gonna want to turn on your prayers, turn on your aura. Turn on anything you have, uh, and we start fighting! Yeah! Now, um... Crap. Now, these things will die in one minute. And, uh... Yeah, because they have, like... 
they only had 3,000 HP, so they will go down really quick, really fast. Now, the drops you're going to want to pick up is you're going to want to pick up everything. Everything except for Saradama Brews, perfect timing. Saradama Brews, Royal Cape, and Seeds. Ex and all... Oh, only exception to the seeds is obviously a Tortsil seed, a uh, uh, dwarf weed seed, and a lantodyne seed, because those are worth a lot. You're all and and you are also picking up the noted items. You're picking up the runite ore. You're gonna pick up the blood runes, because those will add up, and those are essentially what make it one mil per hour. Now, um, when your inventory is full, which mine is not right now, you're um. I, but I'm just going to do it anyway, just to show you. When your inventory is full... Oh, look, Rune Knight Ore. So, when your inventory is full, you're going to want to equip your fire staff of, of some sort and alk all your items. And just keep on fighting. And so, yeah. Uh, if, if you are low on HP, like I said before, these things do drop sh sharks. And every time they do, they drop two at a time. And if worse comes to worse, you can drink the Saradama Bruise, which I drop... Pretty frequently, more frequently than the uh, than the sharks. However, I do not recommend it because they will lower your stats. Uh, also, use regenerate when you can, and uh, use Gothic's blessing uh, every five minutes or rejuvenate. But other than that, you should be good. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this guide. Uh, I worked pretty hard on it. This is probably like my 18th take on it. And, um, uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy making money, because I know I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, like and favorite if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this guide, and stay subscribed to see more guides from the adult in the future. Bye.